things but wood and string if not for the love of you for the love of for the love of you Aloha! My name is Jim Beloff, and I'm joined here with uh, a very special guest, ukulele legend Lyle Ritz, and we are all here for the love of uke. There are a few ways to do a D chord. The way that I like to do it, perhaps because it's, I come from, from guitar originally, um, but it just is, is simple for me, is to just simply run the last three fingers of my um, left hand right down the second fret. So starting with G and then C and then E, those strings, I'm running my second, third, and fourth fingers, or middle, ring, and pinky gimmicks. Um, especially in the, in the last chord, I sort of had a surprise ending chord. That's just a C sharp seven. Um, just to give it a little bit of uh, fun chord tension before resolving back to the F. Um, the other thing that I did, and this is something to keep in mind when you're working out your own arrangements, is um, it seems like, like the bridge is always a good time to change up either your strum or, or volume uh, in this case. And uh, often it's really great to pull back a little bit. You sort of established a strum and, and a certain volume for the tune. When you're at the A minor seven here, and then you go to a D7 flat 9. And then dropping down to the G minor 7. And then the C7 flat 9. Now at first blush, if someone were to play you this chord out of the blue, you'd think that is a terrible chord. But uh, of course, in the scheme of all of this, it just sounds so beautiful. So pay special attention to those. They are really. They are really part of the harmonic structure of this beautiful song. <laughs> 